Hey guys, it is Rachel Feldman. Here we are at our 30 days of live streaming. So if you have not signed up, you're doing yourself a disservice because when you sign up at Rachel's Wellness backslash events, you get all of these videos delivered to you in one document so that you can refer back to them at any time. Today we are going to be talking about how to get referral partners and hook up locally for more clients. Now, just a little about me, if you don't know me, my name is Rachel Feldman. I was a health coach. I organically became a business coach because many health coaches said, hey, <laughs> what is the secret sauce that you are making money in your business? And so I developed not only a system for myself, but it is the very systems that I sell to coaches, which are really the done for you programs. We all need programs on our work with me page. We need opt-in freebies, multiple if you've been watching. We need programs to be able to launch offline and online. And so that very system that created authority, trust, visibility, is the same system I teach coaches today with the done free programs in the masterminds I run in the free support group. If you're not a part of that, do join that as well. So yes, many calls to action. I would also say before we get into our discussion is that you have to join this webinar on November 17th. I'm going to be talking about the sales funnel. Sales funnel is not just for a new coach or an existing coach. It is for everyone. You need to have a sales funnel to have a person come into your business in your opt-in freebie or in a challenge. You need to have a low cost program so somebody can learn about you. Trust, right? That is the biggest thing. That is the biggest piece that we are not teaching and why I believe I'm a different business coach than others is that many are not making money because they are not working on that trust building first and they're asking people, hey, just sign up for my one-on-one -on -one, my hot, or my highest level program. We can't do that. We have to build trust. We have to engage. When I think of people like Gary Vaynerchuk, not in this industry, but I look at pioneers who really take that time and he is crushing it. He is literally killing it in his business and he is so big, but he takes that time to on a Facebook live comment. He takes that time everywhere. I mean, this is a media mogul and this is a person who is doing what? He is caring. And that is the biggest thing that people want. So I really encourage you, if you do want to have that online presence, it's not just about the fancy website. It's not just about the copy on your site. It is the fact that you need to care and engage with people, especially on social media. Ah, uh, Jenny's here. Oh, thank you, Jenny. It is a pleasure to see you. Hi, Laura. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Okay, so now let's get down to business, right? <laughs> so how to get referral partners. This is always kind of like that <gasps> scary place that everyone says, like, do you have a referral template? How do I get referrals? How do I do this? I'm going to break it down really simple. Here, do this. Number one, write a letter from heart. I was just doing an interview with one of the guest experts. Her name is Nikki Pebbles. If you don't know her, go follow her. Because when I talk about authenticity and showing up on a daily basis, no matter how pretty it looks or not having a diva ring light or just showing real life, this is Nikki Pebbles. And we talked about just, you know, running your business from heart and soul. And that is what people acknowledge that is why Gary Vaynerchuk is so powerful and compelling because he speaks from heart so this is the thing that I want you to think about number one is that if you write this letter from heart and you say hi my name is insert I run a health and wellness business. I teach people how to make lifestyle changes, how to change their mindset, how to have a better relationship with food. Because look guys, we are health coaches. So many health coaches are stepping outside the zone of what they should be doing and it is not a safe zone. As a health coach, we help people to do things very different, which is to change their mindset change their relationship with food. 
it's not just about the food on their plate. If it was, you know what? Nobody would have a health issue. Nobody would have a weight issue. Nobody would have imbalances with blood sugar. No one would have adrenal fatigue. It's not just the plate, the food on the plate. We keep focusing on the band-aid. And I'm not saying food is not important. What I'm empowering you to do and to think about is what you do. So when you're writing this to that potential referral, you want to say, I have, you know, I do workshops about, you know, healthy eating or I do workshops about, you know, how to eat on the go, which I think is a really big one. Think about these workshops that are applicable for the human, the modern human, because that modern human, most people are not just sitting there eating bonbons on the couch. They are very active. They're coming home. They're leaving for their job at 7.30. They're getting in the door at 7.30, and they don't either know what to eat. They don't know what healthy meal to make. I mean, they are confused, and especially in a world where we're like, eat this, eat that. <laughs> Every day it's changing. So as a coach, we're here to just show the way. Um, so when you're writing this referral letter, Speak from the heart. I can offer these workshops. I have these programs. I would love to partner with you. And these would be the benefits that your facility or spa or gym would have. You would get more exposure because I would be marketing your facility. Um, I would also send this to my email list. I mean, give the laundry list of benefits because, again, you're bringing value and a value that they also need. This same template of a written letter, now I encourage you to do this, listen up, it is much more effective if you do this face to face. So yes, you might have to go in with a card, a business card, a brochure, something, but it's so much more effective if you can go in, for example, and say, hi, my name is Rachel Feldman, how are you doing? I offer workshops for really busy moms on how to make healthy recipes in under 15 minutes. Pretty, pretty great, right? I mean, who wouldn't want to go to that? Because we all know as busy moms, we get there and we're like, eek, what are we doing for dinner? So we just want to have a workshop on how to make that possible. Think about your niche. Five pain points that your niche has. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Then think about what are the workshops that would be applicable to that niche. Then think about how that ties into the programs and your offerings. So when you're speaking to that person or you're writing this referral letter, you are either talking about what you can offer, talk about a program that you are working in collaboration, and then you want to do what? Hook up locally. So what you're doing is thinking about five to 10 places. This could even be your own massage therapist, your acupuncturist, the health food store down the street. This could be even your own doctor. Um, the people, the very people who are in your life, even your own dentist. I mean, so many people that you have already existing in your life who want to support you and say, hey, can we do a collaboration together? Even the place that maybe you do yoga or the gym that you go. Again, it is endless. Fill in the blank. So once you have this template and that you know what are you offering, and again, don't get stuck. As I always say, take out your handy journal, start writing a letter from the heart, and share what can I offer? Why? Is it going to be a free program? Is it going to be a free workshop, a paid workshop? Who would it benefit? And maybe it's not even a referral partner. Maybe it's actually your own girlfriend. And being able to say, hey, do you want to do a healthy cook night and how's this at your place? And uh, it would be like $25 and I can come in for two hours and, and we can use my program and you get it for free since you're hosting. Um, and then we can, you know, do cook the recipes and have like a really fun girls night um, and make it again inexpensive. So let me just get my calculator. If we thought about a healthy girls night and again, a referral partner doesn't just have to be somebody like a chiropractor or an acupuncturist or a doctor. This can even be your own friends. So if you did even that healthy girl night for $35, say 15 came, it's a $525 night. 
That's two hours out of your time. If you did that and 10 people came, clearly that's $350. I want you to start thinking about how you can make your work really work for you. I always say this doesn't mean to undervalue yourself. My goal, my goal always, has been to have health coaches make money. I see too many business coaches or too many systems being sold where we're not talking about the foundation. We're all up here talking about up leveling, up level, up level, and up leveling is great. But what about for the person who's making no money here? We've got to make, we've got to start here to get here. So I want you to think about the people locally. I want you to also think about what can you do at your home, what can you do at your friend's home to build community, because that is really what people are buying, community and a journey. So your homework for today is to write your template for your referral letter. It's also to think about what community can you create that somebody would love to be a part of? And could you possibly charge $35 for that? Maybe even a program that you have, maybe one that you've bought from me and that is just sitting there doing nothing because you didn't know what to do with it or you felt overwhelmed by the tech. Well, good news. If you just do it at your house, you don't need the tech. You don't need automation. You just need to set that up and get people to come to your home. So with that being said, does everyone feel clear about what they're doing? When you are hooking up locally to get more clients, it's not that you can't have an online presence. I wanna say this loud and clear. I also wanna tell you though, if somebody's telling you that you can have an online presence and be you know, known in a matter of just a month, I don't think that is very possible. You have to show up consistently and daily and brand yourself and let people know who you really are and what you stand for. And that doesn't happen overnight. That is why I believe firmly in building your business locally. And if you have a nine to five job and you have limited time, this is going to have to be done on a Saturday or Sunday. Doesn't mean that you have to sacrifice your whole weekend to do this. Again, I'm talking about two hours. One hour to prep probably before and one hour to clean up. So really think about how you can expand. Think about the letter that you're gonna write. Think about the five to 10 people that you could possibly approach and think about maybe even taking the chance to walk into a gym, a restaurant, a juicing place, a health food store and take a chance because there may be one place that you're not walking into that you're losing out on an opportunity. Laura's asking, should I be boosting posts? I like to boost posts only when they are a blog post and you've invested that time and it's a great blog post and you're bringing them back to what? Your site. So if you had a blog post that said, you know, I'm gonna be doing this healthy, you know, changing life and habits or I'm gonna be doing this class on how to cook in 15 minutes, I'm, in, I'm hosting this in my home, Fine, that would be boosting. But really, if it's something locally, then maybe one wanna boost it because it would only be applicable to people in your local community. If you are doing something in your local community, think about flyers that you can put up in your local community. Anywhere that has a pin board should have something on it because you know what, guys? That is what I did. I looked at pin boards. Anywhere that had a pin board, I had a flyer on it. And this is just the stuff that we have to do. A lot of us think that we can just rely on putting one event up, one picture up, boost an ad. It's not gonna cut it. I'm gonna break the news to you. <laughs> I'm gonna say the truth. And the truth is that, that that's just not how business works. We don't just do three little things and you know have massive success. We have to do a number of different things and not put all our eggs in one basket. And putting all your eggs in one basket would be saying, I'm gonna create an event. I love when people say, I'm doing everything. I was teaching at Hippocrates the other day and somebody said, I'm doing everything. And I said, okay, so let's walk through this. What are you doing? Are you doing this, 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 and this? And she said, no, I'm actually doing none of that. And I said, I hear that from a lot of people. They say they're doing everything, but they're not doing everything in the way that needs to either be strategically done 
or they're not doing the way that needs to be done in a planned manner. And so they're shooting for the stars, which is great. We want to shoot for the stars. We want to, you know, we want to touch the moon. We want to make the money and we want to help people. But she realized that she wasn't speaking to her niche. She wasn't posting an opt-in freebie. She wasn't collecting emails. She wasn't having posts that were engaging. She wasn't doing live stream. She wasn't doing videos. She was just posting. What is posting? What does that do? I've talked about this over and over. That does nothing. She was getting referrals, which told me what? That the people that she was getting were saying, hey, she's really great. But nobody else knew what she was really doing or who she really served. And at the end of the day, I said, well, so what do you do? And she said, well, I help people with a 12-step program who want to balance their life and have more energy. And I said, to me, that means nothing. You're not telling me what what you're taking me through, what is the pain, what are you gonna help me do? So I really want you, when you're thinking anything, whether it's online, offline, referrals, anything, to get specific because we are in a fast culture, whether it's online or offline. So you have to get specific. I know I help health coaches who need sales funnels because if they don't have sales funnels with different price points they are going to suffer and most of them are not going to make money so i teach a very different system than any other business coach i teach you how to have entry very cheap entry points so that somebody can come in and get used to you and trust you and become a raving fan. And this is a model that many do not use, especially in the health and wellness industry. See this a lot in the fitness industry, see this a lot in other businesses, and that is why I follow the elite to watch what is working. And that is why unfortunately I think, and I believe firmly, that health coaches are not making money because they're following that old system that is not working. So in a day and an age where everyone is selling, 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 even on TV, we're like, we're, we're just oversold, you have to build trust. And if you're not taking that chance or you're sitting in overwhelm in any fashion or in any area, you're losing out. Or if you're doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result, you're losing out. So I empower you and I invite you to take a different chance <laughs> um, and do something different and do something which I would suggest because on November 17th we're gonna break this down because if you took one program and you sold that at 17 and you got 30 people that's $510 that means even if you bought a program from me for $167 that's minus $167 you just made $343 Raise your hand if that's more than some of you have even made as health coaches last week. So I'm not sorry for the rant. <laughs> breathing, breathing, breathing. <laughs> sorry, but I get upset about this stuff and I don't want to be like, oh guys, I, just, I so believe in you. I do believe in you, but I also believe that things got to change um, because I'm just seeing I'm seeing everyone fall for another shiny object and I'm even speaking from somebody who is a business coach. I launch masterminds, I launch done for your programs and I then get emails like I've taken this course, I went to this school and I add up on my calculator and I'm like, okay, well you've spent 125000 and you made how much? Oh, you made 12000 total? Okay, well, you're $113,000 in the hole. You pretty much have debt of a doctor. What? <laughs> uh, what? So, this is what I want you to start thinking about. $27. $27, even at the beginning. I keep going back to this sales funnel because it's like I want you to just get into the habit. before we get to November 17th. Because nobody is talking about this. I've gone to masterminds, I've gone to events, I've gone to 
online events I've gone to and and everyone's talking this a lot of people are talking this same thing except for some of these elite that I am following and I'm studying like a hawk <laughs> is that if you have that lead magnet that low cost lead magnet and some people's low cost lead magnet are 497 but again that might be where that's probably not where they started out let me just say that all right they probably started out at 97 but what I see in other industries is this is not what is getting them the people in the door all right so maybe if they're selling something at 497 and they're getting 10 people great wonderful but I have to tell you my philosophy and what I'm seeing is why not sell something at 27 get 20 people again 540 why don't we do 27 times 50 1350 move those people either to one-on-one -on -one or to your next group because they've got you're gonna convert have everyone say you know what you get a 30-minute strategy session or a 20-minute strategy session at this move them to the next thing and this is what I will be teaching um, we're gonna do two things lots of really cool stuff is coming up in 2017 We're doing a four-week launch class and then we are gonna do a four month mastermind because I'm just seeing everyone not getting these pieces and then they're struggling they're either stuck at their nine to five or they're not launching so if we take this 1350 and we convert them say that you're charging you know 300 a month let's say that we convert 10 of those people that's 3,000 say that we convert um, 10 of those people to your next program times a hundred and ninety seven that's 1970 plus 3,000 plus 1350 $6,320. So if you did something like that each month, $6,320 times 12, $75,840. Now again, there would be different variations of that, um, but this is the kind of sales funnel you need to be thinking about, especially for anyone who wants to live as a coach on that financial income or that you need to think, okay, well, do I want to have some cool little group coaching maybe for $27 a month? Do I want to have something where somebody can be a part of that, where I come in and do two phone calls? Okay, do I, how many people do I need to be converting? And what do I need to be giving them after that follows them up to lead them to this next thing? Because it's not just about crafting and being like, I need to have that perfect work with me. You do need to have a great work with me. But how are you getting them there? Because unless you're clocking 10 to 12 health histories a week, you're not going to convert. And unless you have the opt-ins and the challenges and all that, how are they finding out about you? Or are they just Googling and finding, you know, and unless you're doing the videos, how are they finding you on the internet? So, you know, I think going back to the foundation, again, everyone's reaching up here. No, no, we got to stay here. So that is why I'm so passionate about this new wave <laughs> that I feel is essential um, for all of you guys. And, you know, even for how I want to teach because it's just that old way is not working. Um, there has been this trend over the last year and even more so now since everyone is doing, you know, just there's too much traffic. So again, if anyone is guilty as charged, as Laura just said, um, definitely sign up. We will be taking this down. Be prepared because it is going to be a long webinar. I will be keeping strategically to the points and everything, um, you know, slide by slide. But that's why I want you to do your homework before we get there. Review these, um, review all of these different, you know, videos that we are doing here. 
And, um, and thank you for taking the time to show up. This is your business. It, I take it seriously. Um, I hope you take it seriously. And with that being said, have an amazing, amazing day. So if you missed any of this, if you didn't sign up for the live streams, go to rachelswellness.com backslash events and you will see it's hashtag winter live countdown and I will see you um, not only on November 17th because you're going to sign up, but I will see you tomorrow at 9 o'clock. All right, guys, take it easy.